guys! Welcome back to another Clash Show video. Hey, we are entering into the Clashmas season, which is gonna start on Monday, December 6th. We're gonna go through all of the information that you guys need to know for the new season, upcoming balance changes, nerfs and buffs, all of the tower skins, cute little emotes, and a legendary book of books. So let's dive into it. Legendary book of books, which is a very good surprise and very pleasant surprise. It's gonna be free for everybody for the Christmas time. So you can pick up your free legendary book of books in the past real on the free side this time so just that you guys know legendary book of books is gonna be for free so we have two new tower skin one is purchasable in the shop it is called cozy tower skin and the other one is manageable through the past royale and it is called archer queen tower skin which you can see here i think they are looking very very cute i do like archer queen skin maybe with a little bit of colors would be much nicer especially for the christmas but on my eyes is definitely this new cozy tower skin which is looking very very beautiful it is definitely in a clash season clashmas season for Christmas and it is really looking cute we have three new emotes coming in Clash Royale new Archer Queen emote is gonna be on the past Royale I think it's look very angry with that bow in her hand in the crown and the purple hair tell me guys what you guys think about it but she just looks like she just woke up from the bed like me and have a deep voice usually in the morning the second emote is gonna be in the shop, unfortunately it's gonna be in the shop, but it's a firecracker emote, it's a Christmas theme emote, and I think it looks very very cute, it does have those presents around her, and a cute little Christmas hat, hey, everybody likes that, right? And the third one is gonna be Mega Deck Challenge Reward, it's called Hog's Revenge for the Christmas theme. And if you are finishing the Mega Deck Challenge, you're gonna get this Hog's Revenge emote for free. Honestly, this Hog Revenge emote is exceptionally cute. It is really, really funny and I think a lot of people are gonna use this one. Um, from all of those three, this one looks very interesting to me, especially if you need to use it in your battles. I think a lot of people are gonna use this one. Boosted card for the next season is gonna be Snowball. This is gonna happen the first week, Hog Rider. Second week, Barbarian is gonna be the third week. And Inferno Tower is gonna be for the fourth week. So expect the boosted cards changed every week. Snowball, Hog Rider, Barbarian and Inferno Tower. There is also going to be party modes this season and party modes are including 2v2 draft, elixir capture, sudden death, rage and triple elixir. So that's just so you guys know the party modes this season are going to be this one. There is also something amazing coming in Clash Royale and that is 12 days of Clash Mass. From December 14 until December 25, players will get something free in the shop. So let's start from December 14. You're going to get one giant chest 15 of december 2000 gold 16 of december 350 common wild cards 17 of december you're gonna get for free one gold chest 18 of december 2000 gold 19 of december 80 rare wild cards 20 of december is gonna be one gold chest 21st of december 2000 gold 27 of december one epic chest 23rd of december 2000 gold 24th of december five epic wild cards and 25th of december one super lightning chest which i think it's very nice i don't i don't remember that they did something like this before uh, so every day is something new for free so keep an eye on all of that especially because we need gold and stuff like that so i would really recommend you guys to have an eye on those 12 days of clash months let's talk about the balance changes there is a lot of balances a lot of nerfs and buffs that are coming on december 7 after the maintenance break so be aware balance changes are gonna come on december 7 after the maintenance break so the cards that are gonna be buffed on nerf is gonna be furnace goblin hut tombstone fire spirit executioner rascals goblin cage mother witch tesla balram ice wizard and dark god so let's go through all of this together first is gonna be furnace and i'm really really happy about furnace getting a nerf because hey it was definitely needed furnace is super super strong in this 
meta um, it they get a lot of value with spawners in their decks with the furnace in it so i do re i'm really happy that furnace is getting a nerf so lifetime from 49 seconds to 33 seconds spawn rate is going to be from 7 seconds to 6 seconds one fire spirit for the dead spawn hits points minus 17 percent which is very very interesting to know the next one that is getting a nerf which is indirect nerf to all of the spawners is the goblin hut the goblin hut is extremely extremely annoying it was so much visible in this season 29 of clash royale and i would say spawners really took the meta especially if you push a little bit high on the ladder you're gonna see them even more so the goblin hut lifetime is from 40 seconds down to 31 seconds like nerfed spawn rate is 4.5 seconds to 4 seconds and hit points minus 7 percent barbarian hut is the next one that is getting a nerf lifetime is going from 50 seconds to 40 seconds spawn rate from 12.5 seconds to 10 seconds and hit points minus 15 percent tell me guys in the comment section what do you think about spawners getting a nerf i would say it was really really needed to nerf in my personal opinion but hey next one is tombstone so tombstone lifetime is from 40 seconds to 30 seconds now spawns two skeletons at the time and spawn rate is from 3.1 sec second to 3.3 seconds they said that in recent months spawners buildings that gener generate units have been rising in fame leading to a passive gameplay and frustrating battles reducing their lifetime should prevent the accumulation of buildings over time they should also provide less defensive potential than purely defensive buildings like bomb tower or tesla poison will also be stronger against goblin hut and furnace this is very interesting i would really say that spawners did ruin a little bit of uh, 20 win challenge because they have been literally everywhere yes we do still deal with raw recruits and piggies where which very interestingly they didn't even touch I would say Furnace is one of my... Furnace was absolutely on my wish list. So I'm very happy about the Furnace a little bit. Uh, sad that they touched the Tombstone. I was not thinking that was necessary, but hey, they know the best. The next one is the Fire Spirit. Fire Spirit is because of the Furnace. Jump range is from 2,500 to 2,000. This change should help some range units to deal with Fire Spirits without getting a hit. It is really frustrating when you have like an Archer Queen and Fire Spirit is just touching it. And I would say it's a, it's a positive impact it's gonna have in Clash Royale in general. So I'm very happy about Fire Spirit because it should not uh, jump into the musky or jump into the Archer queen or any kind of um, arranged unit in general now the buffs which are very interesting buffs if i may say so i was not expecting executioner to get hit points plus five percent but hey here we are the hooded cookery lover has always been in a tricky place and surely needs some attention this small hp buff will allow him to be more efficient in the arena maybe now we're gonna see more hog executioner rocket cycle decks i don't know i'm not sure if this five percent is actually gonna be super useful for executioner but time will tell right rascal girls uh oh i'm actually don't see rascal girls anymore they are basically outside of the meta but now maybe with rascal girls getting a buff maybe potentially they're gonna come back his speed is up by plus nine percent what they say is rascals use rates have been very low for a long time and this small buff for the girls should put them back onto the map probably with balloon cycle deck if i'm completely honest maybe that balloon cycle with rascals should be back because they didn't nerf balloon at all not even the death damage so i do expect more balloon cycle with rascals back to back but we're gonna see and um, my deck is gonna get a little bit of a nerf because goblin cage is also getting a nerf hit points minus 23 percent i would i'm actually shocked that they touched the goblin cage but hey they did it they said the coolest thing about the goblin cage is the goblin brawler inside a single thought unit that can counter push once the cage is destroyed they want to keep him kicking butts while nerfing the defensive part of the card um 
in my personal opinion this is completely damaging the card i don't think he's gonna be viable i do play goblin cage in graveyard decks and i do believe that if i lose the defensive point of this card uh there is no point of me using the card whatsoever and minus 23 percent is a pretty huge nerf so i'm a really really curious why they did it do you do they did they saw that goblin cage was having a big use but without being so defensive i don't think that i'm personally gonna use the goblin cage but we're gonna see and now the mother witch the pay to our existence <laughs> mother witch is actually very very crazy hit points nerfed minus 18 percent the mother of all witches is still kicking strong in the arena despite her old age this nerf will allow more options to counter her arrows and zap will now do the trick instead of the mandatory fireball i don't know if this is gonna be super useful for the mother witch minus 18 percent because hey her main ability is spawning those piggies and piggies are very strong let's be honest um if they are reducing her hp we're gonna see how that's gonna develop but i still think she's gonna be viable Tesla is getting a nerf. So Tesla is constantly getting nerfs. I don't know how long the Tesla needs to get the nerf to be completely out of every deck, but hey, hit speed is minus 9%. Tesla is one of the strongest buildings in the game. This light nerf should make a weaker versus longer and bigger pushes. If we are constantly nerfing cards that are good on defense, then what we should do? <laughs> I don't know what I feel about Tesla. If we are removing all of the buildings on defense to be super, super weak, then Clash Isle is not going to have defensive uh, point at all anymore. It's just going to be attack, 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 push, 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 and that's it. Um, but we're gonna see and the next biggest buff is actually the valoram valoram got the buff plus eight percent connection damage which is uh, interesting in my personal opinion so valoram with this small buff they wanted to make valoram relevant again and open the choices and possibilities of the win conditions so what i'm seeing right now if they above the valoram pekas are gonna be again strong and strong um and i'm afraid that maybe they're gonna in the future nerf the pekka because they're gonna see how pekka is everywhere but i hope that's not gonna be the case balram is getting a buff and this was unexpected in my personal opinion but we're gonna see are uh, we gonna see a lot of pekka balrams a lot of pekka ram riders decks a lot of pekka breed spam decks there is possibilities with pekka decks a lot and i'm just scared that in three months from now on they're gonna decide to nerf pekka ice wizard is getting a buff or is it a buff i'm not sure but he is now applying the cold effect of deployment inflict slight damage and applies slowdown basically what e -Wiz is doing this is what ice wizards is gonna do i don't know if this is gonna be super super useful hey ice wizards is costing three elixir it does die to fireball because they nerfed him to the ground in my personal opinion not many people are even playing ice wizard we graveyard players don't even touch that card because defensive usage of this card is kind of useless and now it's gonna go if you play the ice Wizard, the top of the like minions minion horde is gonna do some icy effect i don't know if this is gonna be extra effective but the time will tell and the most uh strange card in my personal opinion to get a buff is a dark goblin i don't know what have been thinking about it but the damage plus nine percent with the dark goblin which i usually call speedy gonzalez is really really strange because he's so quick and now he's gonna deal more damage and plus 9% is very significant amount of damage. So I do expect that lock bait players are going to be extremely happy with it. And probably we're going to see Dark Alvin Princess, Skeleton Barrel deck much more. This significant buff should not change many interactions. <laughs> I don't know if they play Class Real, but this significant buff can definitely change a lot of interactions. But the speedy little guy will be more useful against targets with many hit points like Hog Rider and Giants this is not the concern the concern is the log bait decks are gonna be extremely viable if the dark goblin is plus nine percent just imagine that deck that doesn't have a um, big spell dark goblin princess skeleton barrel deck i would say popularity of that deck is gonna rise but we're gonna see and maybe rascal girls prince deck 
Lock bait is gonna be again viable in the meta much more than before with Dark Goblin. Tell me guys in the comment section, what do you guys think about this new balance changes, about these new nerfs and buffs? Are you happy about it? Are you sad about it? It's a little bit difficult because, hey, we need still to push our cards from level 13 to level 14. I personally don't go into the shop and pay much money to upgrade my cards, so it's very difficult to get 100,000 gold for each card. And my card is getting a nerf goblin cage. I need to collect another 100,000 gold. And let's be honest, uh, to collect 100,000 gold, you need one month. Or a little bit less than that. But you need basically one month to get 100,000 gold and upgrade one card. And if your cards are getting nerfs, I'm sorry. It's not my fault, but you guys know it's really, really difficult to upgrade your cards. Because the gold is not enough. Definitely not enough because I didn't want to buy anything from the shop I just wanted to feel the experience what regular player is experiencing to see how much I need to upgrade one card to 100,000 gold to from level 13 to level 14 and it does take me a one month and I'm playing this game every day for two three hours a day so yeah we're gonna see how this is gonna all develop how the meta can change but hey anything new fresh i'm for it even though i'm usually a little bit con complaining side but in the end of the day i try it i see how i like it and honestly in this meta what we saw now it was full of spawners it's still royal recruits royal hog decks is gonna be viable because they didn't even touch those cards and um i'm a little bit afraid to see what is gonna be and what is gonna happen maybe we're gonna see much more balloon cycle decks with royal recruits um maybe we're gonna see more with rascal girls maybe maybe we're gonna see balloon rascal girls again being viable in the meta we're gonna see a lot of more pekas because of the ram rider and um yeah ram rider and the dark goblin oh my god the dark goblin i was so shocked that <laughs> when i saw nine percent buff damage to the dark goblin but hey maybe it's not gonna be that bad right maybe there's not gonna be like a log bait almost every matchup we're gonna see time will tell but happy clashmas and i hope all of this was very informative to you guys and thank you for sticking around and watching my video and see you guys in my next one peace out bye